Hello, knowledge seekers. In this episode of 20 Minute Books, we're diving into The Path Made Clear by Oprah Winfrey. Released in 2019, this book is a beacon for those on a quest to discover their purpose and to embark upon the journey of a lifetime. Oprah Winfrey, an iconic figure in American media, philanthropy, and entrepreneurship, shares her invaluable insights on navigating the spiritual path to finding one's true calling. Famous for her influential daytime TV talk show, which she hosted for 25 years, Oprah has since been dedicated to expanding her media presence through her own network, the Oprah Winfrey Network, OWN. The Path Made Clear draws from Oprah's extensive career and personal experiences, offering guidance, wisdom, and inspiration to those who find themselves at a crossroads. Whether you're seeking spiritual direction, longing for self-improvement, or simply an admirer of Oprah's profound insight, this book promises to shine a light on the steps toward making your path clear. Ideal for lost souls in search of spiritual guidance self-reflective individuals aiming to better themselves, and avid Oprah fans eager for more wisdom from the celebrated figure, the path made clear is a journey of enlightenment, offering to help you find and follow the path that is truly yours. The Path Made Clear Discovering Your Life's Direction and Purpose Introduction Discover Your True Course Insights from Oprah's Heart Imagine for a moment walking through life with a sense of clarity and purpose, feeling each step as part of a grand journey towards fulfillment and happiness. It's a state many of us strive for, yet in the intricacies and hustle of modern existence, we find ourselves lost navigating through life with a sense of disorientation. It's like being adrift at sea, aware that a destination exists, but without the means to steer towards it. In careers that don't fulfill us, in relationships where we're merely going through the motions, we're there but not truly present, sleepwalking through life, as it were. The Path Made Clear by Oprah Winfrey emerges as a lighthouse in this fog its beams intended to guide those yearning for direction back to a course true to their inner selves. Oprah, with the wisdom accrued from years of introspection and dialogue with luminaries, offers her insights as a compass to navigate the journey back to a life of authenticity and joy. This narrative isn't just another self-help guide. It's a heartfelt invitation to awaken to the possibilities of living a life aligned with our deepest truths. Through the pages of this compelling work, we learn about the subtle murmurs of our existence, the whispers within that often go unheard amidst the clamor of our daily routines. Paying attention to these gentle nudges can serve as signposts, guiding us towards actions and decisions that resonate with our core. Listening, truly listening, is elevated from a simple act of hearing to a vital tool for genuine connection. In our interactions, listening with the intent to understand rather than to respond can transform superficial encounters into meaningful exchanges. It's a doorway to empathy and ultimately to deeper, more significant relationships. Oprah also challenges us to reconceptualize success. In a world where achievement is often measured by material wealth and status, she encourages us to seek a definition of success that is uniquely our own, one that's rooted in personal satisfaction and the joy of living our truth, rather than society's benchmarks. The path made clear serves not just as a guide, but as a reminder that no matter how far we may stray, it's never too late to recalibrate our compasses towards our true north. Oprah's voice, both encouraging and insightful, reassures us that clarity and purpose are within reach urging us to step into the life we were meant to lead, a life of authenticity, fulfillment, and joy. Part 1. Unlocking your life's purpose requires self-reflection. At some points in our lives, we may find ourselves standing at life's crossroads, 
wrapped in moments of deep introspection, moments where we question everything from our core beliefs to the very essence of existence itself. It's during these spells of existential contemplation, often marked by a sense of spiritual disarray, that finding one's true purpose feels like an insurmountable challenge. The notion that each of us harbors a unique mission, a raison d'etre, seems like a distant, even implausible idea amid such turmoil. Yet it's a fundamental truth that each person carries within them a special calling, a destiny that they are meant to fulfill during their time on this planet. The journey towards discovering this calling begins with an inward gaze, identifying the intrinsic qualities that compose our individual identities, the seeds of our very being. Some of these seeds are apparent from the get-go, clearly visible traits or passions that only need the slightest encouragement to flourish. For instance, a natural affinity for stories and literature from a young age could easily evolve into a career as a writer or a curator of books, provided this passion is nurtured. However, not all seeds reveal themselves so readily. Many lie dormant within us, waiting for the opportune moment or the right conditions to emerge. Life, in its relentless dynamism, offers a plethora of opportunities to uncover and cultivate these hidden facets. We navigate through an endless series of moments, choices, triumphs, and setbacks, each offering clues and sparks that, when pieced together, illuminate our path forward. Consider Oprah Winfrey's early career trajectory as a testament to this process of self-discovery and alignment with one's true calling. Before becoming a household name through The Oprah Winfrey Show, Oprah embarked on her professional journey as a news anchor, a role that, on paper, many would covet. Nonetheless, this position left her feeling unfulfilled and at odds with her authentic self, a sentiment echoed by her employers who critiqued her for not fitting the conventional mold. Her subsequent demotion to co-host of People Are Talking turned out to be a serendipitous twist of fate. Interviewing Tom Carvel on her very first day, she found herself ignited by an unmistakable passion for connecting with people through conversation. It was in this moment, seemingly a setback, that Oprah stumbled upon a hidden seed within herself, a destined affinity for meaningful dialogue that would come to define her career. To unearth these seeds within ourselves, it's essential to traverse life with an open heart and acute awareness. It is through this process of introspection and attentive living that the seeds of our destiny will begin to sprout, revealing the path we are meant to walk. Whether these seeds are lying in plain sight or concealed deep within our spirit, they are an integral part of us, waiting to be discovered through the whispers of life and our own inner voice. Part 2. The Soft Murmurs of Life's Guidance Life's journey is often marked by unexpected challenges and personal upheavals, job losses, financial struggles, the heartache of broken relationships. Each of these can feel like an abrupt jolt, a speed bump on our customarily smooth path, leaving us to grapple with profound emotional distress. Yet, the reality is that these storms rarely strike without a prelude, without subtle harbingers that signal their approach. It's as if life communicates with us softly, sending discreet nudges about which roads to take or avoid. These are life's whispers, the soft murmurs that endeavor to guide us. These whispers can manifest internally as intuitive pangs, or a flutter of apprehension at the nape of our neck. Externally, they may appear as significant life changes or unexpected opportunities, as was the case with Oprah's transition from a news anchor to a talk show co-host. This shift was not a setback, but a nudge, a whisper from life indicating a new direction that was more aligned with her true purpose. Ignoring these whispers, however, comes with its own set of perils. Consider the journey of author Shauna Nequist, who shared her story on Oprah's Super Soul podcast. During a frenetic phase in her life, balancing motherhood with her demanding job that required constant travel, Shauna's mental health took a severe toll. Anxiety and exhaustion crept up quietly. Yet rather than heeding these early signs, she buried them under a veneer of busyness. 
her situation escalated to the point where physical symptoms, migraines, vertigo, and extreme stress-induced nausea became her reality. These were far from mere whispers. They were life's urgent pleas for change, signs that demanded attention. Shauna's path toward recovery and renewal began in a moment of clarity amidst the natural beauty of a snorkeling trip with her son. Realizing she was so swamped in self-criticism that she couldn't savor the moment, she knew a drastic transformation in her life approach was imperative. This epiphany marked the beginning of her spiritual recovery. Yet, had she been attuned to the initial, quieter messages, perhaps her journey to this critical juncture might have been less tumultuous. Life's whispers are myriad and varied, stressing the importance of staying connected with our inner selves and remaining vigilant to the subtle shifts and cues life offers us. It's about recognizing the importance of paying attention to both the internal and external whispers that hint at the need for change or which direction to pursue. Openness to these signals enables us to navigate life with a deeper sense of purpose and alignment, ensuring we don't miss the gentle guidance offered by life's soft murmurings. Part 3. Embracing Fear on the Path to Your Dreams The journey towards achieving anything of significance, be it professional success or cultivating a meaningful relationship, is inherently fraught with challenges. These challenges, as formidable as they may seem, often manifest as fear, a paralyzing force that can derail us into a state of inactivity. However, succumbing to inaction in the face of fear is a mistake. Intriguingly, fear is not only a natural aspect of pursuing what matters most to us, but is also indicative of the importance of our pursuits. This perspective was shared by Stephen Pressfield during a 2013 dialogue with Oprah. He posited that each dream carries with it a shadow of resistance, akin to the inseparable duality of yin and yang. The magnitude of this resistance, he argued, is directly proportional to the significance of the dream in our personal growth. Understanding fear and resistance in this light can offer a profound sense of solace. It means that experiencing fear is not a symptom of personal inadequacy, but rather a universal spiritual principle, reminiscent of Newton's third law of motion, which asserts that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. The narrative of Joel Osteen, a pastor, author, and televangelist, exemplifies the tangible manifestations of this theory. In a heart-to-heart with Oprah back in 2012, Joel recounted the emotional turmoil he faced following his father's death. His father had been a revered pastor for over four decades, and stepping into those venerable shoes filled Joel with overwhelming anxiety and self-doubt. He initially thought that duplicating his father's approach was the only way to honor his legacy, which only intensified his feelings of inadequacy, resulting in a palpable nervousness in his early sermons. For several months, Joel grappled with this shadow of resistance, unaware that he was experiencing the very phenomenon that accompanies significant life shifts. His epiphany came through a scripture that spoke of David fulfilling his generation's purpose, mirroring his father's accomplishment of his distinctive mission. It dawned on Joel that his quest wasn't to mimic his father, but to embrace and fulfill his own unique destiny. This realization underscores a critical lesson. Once we acknowledge and confront our fears, and the accompanying resistance. The next crucial step is wholeheartedly committing ourselves to the realization of our dreams. Only by working through the inherent fears and continuing forward can we navigate the path toward our true aspirations. Part four, unlocking success through the power of flow. There's a certain magic in being entirely absorbed in what you're doing so much so that time seems to dissolve and nothing exists outside of the task at hand. This phenomenon, often described as being in the zone, is a state where our productivity or creativity surges, familiar territory for artists lost in their craft and athletes pushing their limits. But at the heart of this enchanting experience lies the concept of flow, a period of intense focus and engagement that is pivotal for achieving our goals. Entering a state of flow, however, is not something that happens by chance. It's a culmination of understanding and commitment to one's life direction. 
Knowing your path is the first step, as it aligns your actions and thoughts towards a singular objective. This alignment creates a natural momentum, making it far easier to immerse yourself fully in pursuing your dreams. Yet, finding your flow involves more than just direction. It demands a deep, unwavering intention. Oprah Winfrey emphasizes the importance of wholehearted intention, a robust conviction in your ability to realize your aspirations. Without this determination, many fall short of their goals, stumbling at crucial moments due to a lack of resolve. A vivid illustration of the power of intention, allied with flow, can be seen in Oprah's initiative to establish the Oprah Winfrey Leadership Academy for Girls in South Africa. Despite facing skepticism and criticism, Oprah's steadfast belief in her mission propelled the project forward. Her intention wasn't just to create an educational institution. It was to empower these young women to rise above their circumstances and explore their potential. This unyielding purpose facilitated a state of flow, enabling Oprah to navigate challenges with grace and efficiency. The success of the Oprah Winfrey Academy serves as a testament to what can be achieved with a clear vision and pure intention. Since its inception in 2002, the Academy has transformed the lives of countless girls from economically disadvantaged backgrounds, offering them a top-tier education and a chance to dream bigger. This narrative reinforces the idea that with a committed mindset and clear intentions, we can find our flow an invaluable state where obstacles seem surmountable and our potential feels limitless. Flow is not just about productivity. It's about aligning our deepest convictions with our actions, propelling us towards the fulfillment of our dreams. Part 5. The Heartfelt Call to Serve Others In a world increasingly oriented around the individual, where personal success and achievements are lauded above all, the concept of community, and collective well-being often takes a back seat. We're funneled into a culture that celebrates self-reliance and personal gain, distancing ourselves from the ideals of kinship and shared prosperity that bind societies together. The bustling life in megacities, alongside the deluge of targeted advertisements and the personal branding of political figures, only exacerbates this shift towards individualism. Yet, nestled within this tide of self-centeredness, lies a profound and fulfilling way of living, one rooted in service to others. Serving others does not solely encompass grand gestures like philanthropy or volunteering. Instead, it encompasses a daily commitment to act with kindness and compassion, influencing the lives of those around us in positive, albeit sometimes small, ways. The essence of true service often lies beyond material assistance. It extends into the emotional and spiritual support we can offer. Maya Angelou, a towering figure of wisdom in Oprah's life, articulated it best. It's the feeling you leave with someone that becomes your lasting imprint on their soul, not necessarily the actions you performed or the words you spoke. To embody a life of service, we can begin by reframing our objectives, not around our personal ambitions, but around the legacy we wish to leave behind. Imagine a world where our decisions are guided by the question, how will this help others, rather than, what will this achieve for me? Deep listening emerges as a powerful tool in this quest to serve. Thich Nhat Hanh, during a heartfelt conversation with Oprah, shed light on the concept of compassionate listening. This practice isn't about passive hearing, but actively creating a space for someone to unburden their heart without judgment or the urge to correct them. By offering our undivided attention and empathy, we can ease another's suffering, if only by letting them feel truly heard and understood. Adopting this perspective of service transforms our interactions and our life's trajectory. Instead of chasing material success, we find fulfillment in the positive impact we can have on others' lives. Serving becomes not just an act, but a guiding principle, steering us towards a legacy defined by compassion and positive change. In doing so, we not only enrich the lives of those around us, but also discover a deeper sense of purpose and connection in our own lives. Part 6. 
Redefining Success, Authenticity Over Material Wealth. In a society that often equates success with financial prosperity and fame, it's easy to lose sight of what truly constitutes a meaningful and fulfilled life. Our fixation with material gains and status symbols, while understandable given cultural pressures, overshadows a more profound measure of success, the alignment of our lives with our authentic selves. Consider the experience of author Sarah Van Brethnak, who found herself atop the pinnacle of success following the monumental sales of her book, Simple Abundance, in 1996. However, this high was followed by a poignant moment of realization. Discussing her emotions with Oprah in 2013, Brethnak revealed the distress she felt when her book eventually fell from the bestseller list, leading her to an inconsolable state. It was a stark reminder that success is not a permanent state but a fluctuating cycle. Further reflections on her journey highlighted how the sudden influx of wealth led her to indulge in lavish expenditures, from an extravagant collection of designer shoes to purchasing historical real estate like Sir Isaac Newton's chapel. This pattern of behavior reflected a deeper, unsettling truth, the struggle to find self-worth in the face of unexpected financial success. For Brethnak, like many others who experience a sudden rise in wealth, the abundance felt undeserved, prompting compensatory spending as a means to forge a sense of value. Brethnak's story serves as a compelling case for rethinking our definition of success. Rather than being seduced by the allure of bestseller lists or the accumulation of luxury items, we must strive to live authentically, aligning our actions with our inner truth. Success, then, becomes not about external validation, but about achieving a harmonic balance between our inner convictions and our outward life. This paradigm shift in understanding success calls for a focus on our core essence over transient markers of accomplishment. Our true worth and the measure of our success should be based on how faithfully we live out the truths of who we are. Unlike fluctuating net worth or professional accolades, our authentic self provides a steadfast foundation upon which to build a life of genuine fulfillment and purpose. Embracing this perspective frees us from the shackles of societal expectations, allowing us to chart a course that is uniquely our own. When we honor our true selves and dismiss superficial notions of success, our path forward becomes increasingly clear, guiding us towards a life of deeper satisfaction and meaning. Final Summary In the constantly shifting tides of our existence, where uncertainties and challenges swirl around us, it's all too easy to lose our bearings. The secret to navigating these tumultuous waters isn't found in the external world, but resonates from within. Our true essence, our purpose, and our passions are embedded in the very fabric of our being, waiting to be discovered and embraced. The essence of leading an authentic life hinges on introspection and being attuned to the subtle, guiding whispers that echo in our everyday lives. These whispers, gentle yet profound, guide us closer to understanding who we are at our core and what we are meant to do. They encourage us to live in alignment with our true selves, creating a life not defined by societal expectations but by personal fulfillment and truth. Moreover, authenticity leads us to compassion, urging us to extend our inner journey outward by serving others. This service doesn't necessarily take the form of grand gestures. Sometimes the most impactful acts of service are those woven into the fabric of our daily interactions, listening deeply, offering support, and being present for those around us can profoundly affect those we touch, fostering a sense of community and shared humanity. Ultimately, the greatest measure of success transcends material wealth and accolades. True success emerges when we live out the truth of who we are, acting with integrity and compassion. It's about finding harmony between our internal desires and external actions. Navigating life's path with a heart geared toward lifting ourselves and those around us. By turning inward and heeding the whispers that guide us, we can forge a path that is authentically ours, marked by genuine connections, fulfillment, and a compassionate legacy. This journey of authenticity and compassion isn't just a path to personal success. It's a beacon that lights the way for others, 
reminding us all of the transformative power of living a life true to ourselves. Thank you for joining me today on this journey of learning and discovery as we explored the insights of another thought-provoking book in our growing library of knowledge. If you've enjoyed our time together, please take a moment to follow our podcast, give us a five-star rating, and share 20-minute books with other knowledge seekers. Your support truly means a lot. Don't forget to join me again in the next episode, where we will delve into another enriching book. Until then, happy reading and happy listening.